Hey everyone, how's it going? Don, founder at Be Human here. And I'm filming this video to tell you about an incredible new update to Persona that just went live today. So Persona is an incredibly creative and innovative tool that we built that allows you to actually clone yourself. You can create a digital twin that learns your face and voice so that it can recreate it in conversations with other people. It can also learn the way you think and reason in order to answer questions on your behalf and research and learn what you know so it can build a memory and knowledge base of you as an individual. Sounds like science fiction? I know. You know, when I first came up with this idea over a year ago now, it was a long shot. But we put a small, tactical, and smart team together that's been working on this ever since. And now the day has finally come. Persona is live, and I would love for you to try it. You can use your persona to have conversations at scale. People can have full-on video chats with you, except you're not actually there. Your persona is doing all the talking while you're doing more creative work. And more importantly, your persona can scale in the way that you never could. Your persona could have hundreds of conversations at once. It can speak up to 17 languages, and it can be available 24-7 embedded on your website. So whether you want to use Persona for customer support, sales, education, or simply to give your audience a human connection to who you are as a business or as an individual, the only limitation is your imagination. So let's dive in. I want to show you exactly how this works. Now, before we can send our Persona to our audience and start having it have these conversations on our behalf, we first have to give it some training data to work with. So we need to give the persona some data so it can learn how our voice sounds and how our face looks and how all of our gestures play in into the look that people recognize as us. And it's very simple. It only takes three to five minutes. So let's get started. It starts with an intro video. So when your persona starts talking, it's always going to play this intro video. This intro video is something like, Hey, this is Dawn, founder of BeHuman. I'm here to answer any questions you might have about BeHuman, the technology, pricing, you name it. I'm here to help. Go ahead. Ask me any questions you might have right now. So that's an example of an intro video. What this does is it sets the stage for the conversation to come. And of course, gives a warm, friendly introduction and explains who you are. Now, after that, you'll have a couple more videos to record that will show up here on the screen. The next one will be a waiting video. You'll have a no reply video. And finally, you'll have an ending video. After you record those, there are six more videos to record and then you're done. Now, the rest of the videos, these six, actually you could say anything you want in them. You'll see what I mean. Let's get started and this will all make sense. There's one additional caveat though that I wanna mention. When you record these training videos, you need to find a comfortable place where you'll stay in the same position. Your head and body cannot move. Now it can move slightly, but it should always stay in the same position. So when I start recording these, you'll see what I mean. Additionally, there should be no movement behind you. So no plants that sort of bounce in the wind, and unfortunately, no cats walking in the background. Now, if you don't follow this movement rule, the persona won't let you continue. So it's really important to keep this in mind. Um, but of course, if you move too much and make a mistake, you can always start over and just go through that three minute process one more time. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's get started. So let's start with the intro video. So this says, this is an introductory video. Introduce yourself and the topics you cover. All right, so I'm gonna get my camera set up into a comfortable position here. It's also best practice to be a good distance from the camera, so you don't wanna to be too close either. Now you're gonna be clicking start. So, you know, make sure your arm is in that one position. Don't move it back because then you'll have to move it every time. So, you know, just find a position where you feel comfortable and then stick to that position. Hey, how's it going? This is Dawn from Be Human. I'm happy to have the opportunity to chat with you today. Um, and I can help you with anything regarding Be Human, our product, technology. So go ahead, what can I help you with? All right. Now that was our intro video. You can see it's uploading as soon as it finishes, all of the other videos will be visible. And you can notice my head, my body, my arm, everything. I'm keeping it very still. So let's just wait for this to finish. All right, now let's continue to the waiting video. 
Now in the waiting video, you basically just sit there and say nothing for five seconds. And the video will automatically stop after five seconds. So you can blink, perhaps slightly nod, but really just, just sit there and imagine that someone's talking to you. Simple as that. Now, no reply available video. This is what plays when your persona doesn't have a good answer to what someone is asking and doesn't know what to say. It'll play this video back. Let's record this. Hmm, I don't have an answer to that. Why don't you ask me something a bit more on topic, perhaps about be human? All right, it's still there. Video plays when we don't hear from the audience in a while. Hey, are you still there? Finally, the ending video is what ends the conversation when there's no input from the audience. All right, well, it looks like you stepped away. I'm gonna jump, um, but hey, good chatting with you. If you ever wanna do this again, you can find me in the same place. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Almost there, halfway through. Now the training videos. So in these videos, you just say literally anything you want for five seconds. Just keep your body and head still. Um, make sure that it's actually real words though, you know? So it could be in almost any language, uh, but just make sure it's real words. All right, so this is the five second video. I can say anything. The wall behind me is white. You can see it just stopped automatically. Don't have to click anything. And we'll go to the 10 second one. Now this is the 10 second video. Again, I'm not really moving. I could start to get a bit adventurous and move my head a little bit around like that. Um, that might be good for the AI. 15 second, but really I'm not gonna to move too much. What did I do today? Um, well, I worked, went to a couple of cafes, had too many espressos, that's for sure. Um, and, you know, trying to finish up for today. It's pretty late here. All right, and this is the 20 second video. And in this video, I can pretty much say any gibberish I want. You could talk about your day. You could talk about your favorite book, maybe your travel plans. Um, actually, right now I'm in Sicily. I'm in Trapani. I was in Favignano, which is an island just off the coast here. And that's all. Okay, 25 seconds. Second to last video, almost there. And I'm going to be a bit adventurous with my head around. You can see there's that sort of we call like a tracer frame behind me. That's a guide for us to get back on track. And you can see the green borders around me are green, but if I move too much, then they start to become red. And we don't want to do that. We want to stay in the green. So let's let the AI do its thing and give it what it needs to perform. All right, almost there. Resist the temptation to move. I know you probably really, really want to move. Uh, but just hang tight. We have about 20 seconds left. And um, like I was talking about my travel plans, for example. So, you know, I, uh, I'm in Sicily. I've been in Sicily for about a month now. I'm um, just doing some traveling. Um, but I'll be headed to Bali on the 4th. So I'm really looking forward to that. It'll be my first time down there. So let's see what happens. All right, save it and you can move. Congratulations. So now... These videos are uploading, as you can see there, we have the status on the top left. So let's just let it do its thing and move on to the next step in the process, step two, which is giving it now data and knowledge to learn from. So let's wait for this to finish. All right, perfect. Now, step two, let's go on the right hand side, click manage knowledge base. All right, now the knowledge base is essentially sort of the database of the brain of your persona. It's what your persona knows. So you can manage this and you can make sure that, first of all, what it knows and what it starts saying out loud to people are things that you want it to say and that you're comfortable with it saying. Um, but additionally, you can add in training data here to feed it so it can start to learn more and be able to have more interesting and deep, complex conversations. So the easiest way to add to its knowledge base is to click new training data. And for now, this opens just a blank text box. Um, eventually in the next update, you'd have the ability to add in links here. So you can just put in your website, for example, put in your LinkedIn profile, 
and it'll crawl that and start to learn from you and what you know. Um, but for now, we can just paste in literally anything. It could be your resume. It could be you know a meeting transcript. It could just be your life story that you wrote down on paper one day. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some help articles about Be Human so that it can start answering questions about Be Human and save our support team time. So let's do that now. Let's see. Okay, perfect. How to manually record variables. So I'm just going to copy this text in there and let's go back to persona. All right. So just paste it in any text. Basically, you're just trying to put in useful snippets of knowledge that it should know. And I'm going to hit add. And you would have noticed there is the selection, the drop down for me to change the language. This is English, which is the default. So didn't have to worry about that. Now, what's happening here is it's looking at that information that we just gave it. And it's starting to think about, all right, what are the useful things that someone might need to know here? And what are the questions that might lead to those answers? So we have this sort of prompt response format. So for example, from the article that I just pasted in here, it's made a couple of new entries into its knowledge base. So for example, how can I manually record my variables? Select record voice manually in the campaign builder page and start recording. That sounds great. This one, for example, what is the new feature in the latest update? The ability to manually record your variables. That's not really relevant for ongoing conversations, right? Perhaps that was about a specific update. I'm just going to get rid of that one by pressing the delete button. And maybe there's a recording that I want to keep in there, but I don't want to go live yet. On the left, I can uncheck this confirm button and that'll just mark it as inactive. But for now, all of these actually look pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit update persona. All right, now what's happening is the persona in the background is now generating responses for that new knowledge that it knows, that when it has conversations in the future, it can reference those knowledge points. There's one other way to add knowledge though, and I wanna go back and show you that. If you click manage knowledge base and hit create new prompt response, this gives you the ability to add in a direct, simple prompt and response that you can type in manually. So for example, maybe this is something more conversational, like, how are you? And the answer is, I'm doing great. How are you? And add this in. And then of course, I'll take the persona. Okay. So now our persona is generating, it's doing its work. You'll see up here, the submit for training button, which would be the next button you have to click to start to put this persona live. It's grayed out and it's grayed out because our videos are still generating. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause here this could take anywhere between three and 10 minutes. Um, if you have you know, hundreds and hundreds of new knowledge points that you added, this might take a bit longer. Um, but for now, we only added four. So I'll come back in about two, three minutes and we'll continue with the process. All right, so we're back about three minutes later. And you can see that this section for response videos has started to fill up and take a look at this. If you go to manage knowledge base, you'll see on the right side here, we have these eye icons. And that means that there's a response video that has been generated for these points of knowledge, right? That we can now actually answer these in conversation. So let's do that. Let's go back to the homepage. I'm gonna give this persona a name. All right, and let's submit for training. All right, now the AI is working its magic. So again, this will take a couple of minutes. If you have a huge knowledge base, this might take up to an hour or two, but for our sake, we've only got a couple. So We'll come back in about three more minutes. All right, and we got this beautiful pop-up that says share your persona. There's a couple of options to configure here, so let me walk you through it. All right, first, how do you want people to interact with your persona? So when you embed this on your site, people can either type their questions in, they can speed their questions in, or they can have a full-on video conversation with their camera streaming. So we can check these three boxes to give them the options to do all of those three things. Now, position, do we want it on the bottom left of our site, bottom right of our site? I'm gonna keep it at the bottom left. Um, now we can actually preview it. All right, so we can open up this link and give it a spin. So as you can see, I'm actually down here in the bottom left, completely fluid, right? I'm blinking, right? And so that is going to inspire a lot of clicks from your audience to start these interactions. So let me open this up and you can see the prompt. How would you like to interact? Video, voice, or text? All right, so. 
you can see this little taste. Of course, it's an incredibly simplistic persona that just knows like four things, right? So it's not going to be able to say a lot. Additionally, because it's so new, it hasn't really understood a lot about our face and our voice yet. So you'll see that face and voice cloning quality will improve as time goes on with your persona. So what you first see is the most raw persona and it will continuously get better from there on out, even for responses that you put in on day one. So let's go back because I want to show you how we can actually embed this on our site and start using this to educate, chat, and form human connections at scale with our audience. So you'll see here we have this copy and paste embed code. All I have to do is copy this and then put this into the header HTML tag of my website. Now, there's a million website builder platforms out there and almost all of them enable you to do this in a really simple, easy way. And that's all there is to it. So it only takes a couple of minutes to get set up. And then from there, it's really a matter of continuously teaching your persona and giving it time to get better and become smarter so it can have more engaging human conversations on your behalf. Now, Persona is just getting started. We have a whole slew of exciting updates coming that you won't want to miss. So I recommend you sign up now because if you do, you'll get locked in to our beta pricing, which is just $9 a month. And you'll always have that price point. Even after Persona leaves beta and the price will go up, you will stay at that $9 price tag. We'll keep innovating and we can only do so because of your support. So thank you for that. And if you have any feedback on Persona, we'd love to hear it. Once again, we're just getting started, but this is really a groundbreaking technology that you don't want to miss. In the future, your persona will be able to join meetings with you, to learn more about you in real time as you express that communication outwardly into the world, be it to colleagues, be it over email, or be it over the web itself. So go ahead, dive in, let me know what you think, and I appreciate your time. Thanks.